the tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can add interesting different stroke options to custom shapes. Well, in particular, I'm going to use ellipse for this video, but uh, you could use custom shapes as well, squares, etc. So, first thing you do, just add a shape over here, shape layer, and I'm going to set the fill so you can actually see the difference. And I'm going to set that to black. And I'm going to set a reasonable size stroke so you can actually see it. So that one, obviously very, very tight stroke. Now, right, so once you've got that design there, now I say you can, there's some things that you can only see if you can say got like a square that's got corners, but I'll point that out in a few minutes. Now, stroke, here's the stroke options. So just go over here, just a little option there and stroke options. There's a number of presets that come with it. So you've got that one, which is just that. And these ones, default ones that come with Photoshop. Now you can't actually save or delete those. They seem to be inbuilt. So just select that. Now this one is one that I've created. So at this point, you can actually see you can delete it. So this delete stroke becomes available. You can copy it as well and paste. Anyway, so if you actually make some changes, so just a simple change actually, just make that go to the, the center, you can actually then say save stroke. So you can just quickly save it, add that to your little list here. Now, just gonna go to more options. I, I don't generally use the settings here. I actually go to the more, more options, but you can, of course, just use it here because there's other options as well that are available. So you can remove the dashed line. I've just got that on there. And just gonna go through the presets quickly. So there's the one, you've got one with inside you can see inside there and again you've got the little dots there you can actually see got dash zero and gap two and you can put that to the center if you wish so it goes onto the center of the line and outside you can see it goes on the outside and you can make the butt now some work better than others with different settings so i'm just going to go down to say this one here and set that to rounded so you can actually see the rounded option there. So it's rounded and again square. Now, there is a slight difference between the, these for the caps. It depends on the, the projection. So if you actually project, you can see the gap changes go to butt. That's the key thing. It's actually how it projects out. Now there's another option over here, which is corners. And that's obviously of no use when it's a circle. You actually need some corners to work with. So if, it's, if this was a rectangle, square, or some shape with sort of that sort of line, you would actually see those options there where the, you've got the settings on. Just quickly create, like that, create a, a rectangle, if it wants to let me, rectangle tool, and just say like that. And you can actually see, when you've got that option, you can see, Options there, select that one. It's going to be one that actually, right, so you've actually got that. Then you can go to over here and you can see that it actually rounds that or puts the bevel there as well. So, right, so those are different things. And you've got other settings here for dash, so you can actually make different patterns of dashes and gaps as well. So, so you go for two. See so just a smaller gap there. So maybe gap six, you can actually make it obviously a bit wider there. Or maybe one, so you can actually just crunches up against the, the actual dash itself. And again, you can modify that maybe to make that one. You can see them just all going along like that. And again, three, three, and then you can make different patterns, say by saying that for five and Okay, actually, to be honest, it works better when you've actually got the circle. So going through those, that one, you just do it over here. And again, settings, change the dash there. You can just see it much easier. Gap two, that's nice little gap there, and 12 all the way around there. So if you just set it to one and one, you can just see it one, then you've got a gap, one, gap, one, gap, one and so on and so on, all the way around. Now, there's a number of other options you can do. One of the things you could do is maybe duplicate the 
design and then maybe combine them maybe into a smart object and all those sort of things. And I think I'll be doing a video based on that as well later. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.